Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura Wood Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great day. Well, we as you can see, we have an unbagging, so that means we have a review. Let's see who this bag comes from. If I can get it cut open and not cut anything else. Oops. Oh, that'll be okay though. Let's get everything out of here. All right. Got a few things to go over here. So, the first thing, first thing, this is from DIY Digital Art. We have diamond painting and pre stamp cross stitch and a tool, if you will, to go with diamond painting. So, let's take a look at the diamond painting. I could get it out of here. Just love how those things they either come undone really easy or they don't come undone at all. So it's just best to cut it. This isn't a very big one. This is a special drill. And it has 13 drills, I see here. It has some pretty drills. It comes with a boat, wax, tweezers, and a pin. We'll just set those aside for a minute. Let's see if we can get this to roll in the opposite direction. Looks like it's a 30 by 40, but yep, 30 by 40. I didn't think it was square, so. And it's not big enough to be a 40 by 50. And this one isn't a full coverage. It just has lots of elements that you have to put beads on, which is good. I do like these special drill ones. No, oh, we got it about as flat as it's going to go there, but it is very pretty. It's got little mandalas. They kind of remind me of the dot paintings that I did on rocks. And it's a, an Australian or an Aborigine thing, I should say. They do dot paintings. Look that up on uh, YouTube if you like. It's very interesting. So let's see how big this is. This one was 575. And like I said, it's not full coverage. So it is 40 by 30 and the actual picture is uh, 33 and three quarters which is about 13 and three quarters by almost nine and a half or 23 and a half maybe a little over nine and three quarters so not very big not very big at all very bright, very easy to read symbols. We'll put the boat over there. Let's take a look at these beautiful drills. It has some separate here. It has a whole bag of the little clear iridescent ones with kind of a blue and orange and red and it just you know you move it in it changes all different colors but just beautiful and the rest are this way so it must not have been able to fit in one of these pouches so you have some yellow some red violet a little red some kelly green kind of a pale gold a real pale blue dark blue silver. We have some round iridescent ones that are in kind of an orangish red pink color. You have some cobalt buttons. Then you have some iridescent purple ones made kind of like these, only it's in purple. Reminds me of that jewelry my mother used to have when I was young. My grandmother and my mother both had jewelry that looked like that. I hope you can see all the beautiful colors 
And then we have some red buttons. So yeah, lots and lots of stuff to put on here. Let me put this back with this. Oh, let me show you. I'm trying. Of course, I can't find one that's right side up. It does have the product number. There it is. The S10299 on each of the packages. Plus the number, you know, that is on the graph here. No DMC numbers on this one at all. Not even on the canvas. put that over there but yeah it's just beautiful for under ten dollars right yeah under ten dollars so under six dollars but lots and lots of places to put drills I don't know if I'm holding it as still as possible lots and lots of places so it'll take a little bit for this one to get done but it will be beautiful I will show it to you when I finish it but I don't think I'm going to start it right right this second. But we've got a few things that we got to do. So when I opened the pouch, I cut this and open accidentally. But it didn't hurt the canvas or the paper. And this one is a 22 by 28. And it is an 11 count. I take it out of the bag because there's a sticker right in the way, of course. It is a Joy Sunday. Or Joy Sunday wannabe. All packaged just like Joy Sunday. Let me put the bag over there. It says, Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Isn't that beautiful? Look at those morning glories and the hummingbird. I'm assuming they're morning glories. Just beautiful. It has some back stitching in it. And all the words here are back stitched. Just beautiful. It has 13 colors. Does have back stitching in four colors. Make sure there was no more than 13. But this uh, pattern will not match the one on the canvas. It's always different. Just because it's Joy Sunday. But nice big canvas you can see. Not canvas. Pattern that you can see to do all the back stitching and everything and where it all goes. But yeah, just beautiful just beautiful let's take a look at the beautiful colors and it is a partial it does come with two needles it doesn't have a sticker on here some do some don't so there's not a lot of threads because like I said there's not too much stitching and it's not very big you know it, it's smaller than I thought and this number one is part of the back stitching color I'm assuming. I don't know. I'll have to look. Yeah, they use that dark charcoal gray. It goes around a few things here and there. And all the back stitching of the words. But there is blue back stitching on some of these flowers. So, yeah. But beautiful, beautiful blues and greens. A little bit of pink. Just a bit for the, I think, the throat or the belly of the... Uh, the hummingbird and I like this because it was small and it's counted oh crap I did it again oh my goodness but there's not much to it this is very big and very easy to see so yeah we'll have to see and it goes this way I'd have to count all them squares out but uh Looks like it's, the whole thing is like 90 by 70, 90, I'm sorry, 94 by 70. So yeah, but it's beautiful. Just love all those colors. And there is no key, it's just a piece of plain fabric. So what that means is you don't have to use this fabric. You can use your own to make this pattern if you'd like. I think it'd be lovely on an off-white, you know, if you wanted to. Like a, like a dusty tan. I think it would be beautiful. So, so we'll see. Yeah. I didn't even measure the canvas. Okay. I'll play. 
I'm a little upset that it's a pre-stamped. I mean, not a pre-stamped. So it's 30 one way and 23 and a half the other way. And the thing is 22 by 28 is what it says the canvas is supposed to be. So there's plenty of canvas there if you want to. And it's an 11 count. So, yeah. Mm, well, maybe some other time. Not today. Let's see. Where am I? It was 325. No wonder it was 325. There was no printing on it. All right. Let's look at this. Since we have this, we'll get this canvas out. And I'll show you this product. This is a new product that they're carrying. And I'll be damned if I didn't think it was going to be way smaller. I have no conception, I guess. Well, it stuck it in there. What in the heck? Hang on. Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, hold that thought. I'm just going to do this the easy way. When you don't work with me, you get cut. Okay, so when I saw this, I thought this was only supposed to be, oh, maybe as wide as this ridge right here. But as you can see, it is fairly big, and you're going, what is this, right? So it is actually one and three quarters inches wide. And what you're supposed to do that with this, that's why I got the diamond painting back, is to make a frame and stick this because it has adhesive back to it. Very, very sticky. And you lay it down on the pape, paper right next to the diamond painting and you can miter miter your edges if you please you know right here to make it look like a frame and then you would just go from here and on the site it does say you need one spool for this size and one spool or two spools for something bigger than that or three for something gigantic but it is very soft it's kind of made out of a I don't know if I can show you that it's like a foam that has been painted or spray painted or something painted in a color and it comes in like oh five or six colors you know like green yellow pink blue gold silver yeah you have several choices now this stuff is i will put it in the thing because i don't have it it's maybe five bucks a roll something like that it's very sticky kind of sticky on the outside edges but yeah i thought it was just going to be something that was just going to run this like edge size right around the edges of the diamond painting and then you could put it on the wall per se or put it in a frame if you had a thick enough frame because this sticks up I would say a good I don't know I can't and it won't I don't know it's probably oh hell that thick maybe but yeah I thought it was thin and I thought it was made out of like a plastic material well this is plastic ish it's styrofoam very lightweight so if you put this on a poster board you could cut you know glue the the diamond painting down and then lay this right beside it to make you know the frame and, of course, it'll stick to the poster board or whatever, and then you can frame it. 
from there. But yeah, I thought this was going to be way smaller. So yeah, hmm. I, I'll let you know if I use this and what I use it on and how I use it. Because <coughs> I usually don't cut around the, the diamond painting at all, at least until I get ready to put it in an actual frame. Like I did Cinderella. You know, I, I put it right into an 11 by 14. But, uh, yeah. So, well, this is kind of a disappointment. Now, this is not so thick that you couldn't cut it. You could cut it right down and make it half the size that it is. You know, and you'd still have some of this little design there on both sides. So, I don't think that would hurt anything at all. You know, yeah, I'm at a loss. Never saw anything like this, but I do know it is a new product for most of these stores that I do review. So, yeah. We'll see how that turns out. I may have to have a whole video on, on doing that. All right. And, like I said, I don't have a price on that, but I will put the link for it in the description box. I have to have a drink of water after all that. I'm running out of spit. So this is the last one. And I don't know what company. It looks a lot different. Now this one was $9.25. And it's supposed to be $40 by $64. So... We'll see. I've, I've just never seen this particular packaging. It's very pretty. It reminds me of those ones that say classical cross-stitch patterns. And if it's accounted, I'm just going to shoot somebody. Nope, it's not. Okay. But it has a very beautiful picture. Just gorgeous. A little bird. Some lotus blossoms. And some gold flecks. And then you have some Chinese, Japanese... Oriental writing. I don't know what it is. 90% of the time, I guess it's Chinese. Doesn't say any company name anywhere. No. Not at all. Nice big key. It says it's 130 by 236. I just thought the picture was gorgeous. But there is going to be a lot of 310 there. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. And there are 29 colors, and this key will not match the one that is in the thing. Before I forget, does come with instructions on how to start, how to finish, what to do in between, how to sort your threads, how to pick a thread. Yeah. Most kits do come with that. It's very nice for somebody that's never done this, but this would not be one that I would start with. Yeah, it's going to take a lot to black. It has 310. And it has 823, which is a dark blue. And, yeah, 3865, which is your white. So, this is all done in white. This, what do you call it? Writing? This name? This saying? I don't know. But it's very pretty. Very, very pretty. Let's take a look at what's going on in here. Oh, yeah, we got a hank of... Whoops. Hang on, guys. It also comes with a little toolkit. Has a poof ball and a thimble that kind of got squished in packaging. Has a needle threader and one, two, three, four needles in here. Very nice. Except for the thimble that I'll never use because it never works for me. I guess I just don't hold my hands like that. I don't know. Does come with a hank of 310, and that is a heck of a hank. That is a large, large, large hank of 310. Look how many threads there are. Yeah. Okie dokie. We just twist that up, twist it again, and put that right in between so nothing happens to it, and set it aside. Now, can I shake? Maybe? They're all kind of knotted up. That didn't help at all. Hang on. We're having a hitch in our getting along. Ugh. There we go. But it has greens and some dark 
teal. It's more of a blue than teal. It's just got a touch of gray. I mean gray. Green in it. I was looking at the one right here. Look at that pink. And there's some darker pink. And lovely greens. Like seafoam greens. You have some olive greens. But look at the purples. Oh. To die for. And then we have some reds. And more purple. So somewhere in there has got to be 550. I'm sorry. Just has to be. Uh, yes, number 12. It's 550. I love that. Fuchsia pink, too. It's beautiful. I don't know. Five. No, nope, wrong way. 718. Isn't that beautiful? It's like a magenta. You have some dark golds and some burnt orange here. So I'm trying to figure out where all that... I guess the burnt orange is going in the centers of the flowers. Because there, there's no other bright, bright orange. And then in with some of the gold flecks here and there. Just a beautiful picture. Mm. But beautiful threads. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, yeah. But aren't they gorgeous? Look at that side. Oh, to die for. To die for, but all the black. Oh, my word. Let's take a look at the uh, canvas, shall we? And see what it brings. Let's see here. Oh, there is another needle right there. Oh, good. It's not so big. It's more... Ah, I got to back up. I'm trying to back up and not shake y'all the smithereens. But yeah, nice and tall and long but look at all that black yeah nice and big you can see the lotus blossoms and there's a little bird whoop I went too far sorry there's a little bird and there's all your printing but all that is black now I suppose if you were a brave soul you could just Ditch the flower and the birds and all that, and then leave out the back. But it, frankly, it 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 makes the picture. Just makes the picture. That black with all that light pale pink popping out. Yeah, you'd have to do the black on this one. I'm sorry, I kind of agree with them. Let's see how big this is. That is, if I can get it unfolded. And it doesn't even say it is surged all the way around before I forget. Okay, it is 38 and a half by, this is a guesstimation, by 63. The actual picture is 30 and a half, which is 12 by. 12 by we're getting there we are getting there 54 and a half which is like 12 by 21 and a quarter ish almost 21 and a half so yeah and there's not there's I don't see any confetti you, it seems to have rivers of color so yeah, let's look at the, the key over here. It's nice and big. You can read all the numbers. Let me just fold it in half so that the light behind it, it's easier to read when you're right on top of it. But nice, easy to read symbols. Doesn't have a color thing along the side. That's fine. But it does give you the DMC number, the symbol, and they're very easy to read. And then your number on your thread card. But, yeah, I'm looking at this. Sometimes the light shines on it and I can't see it, so I have to kind of tip it. <laughs> the canvas is kind of sparkly. It's weird. But, yeah, very easy to see the symbols. Not difficult at all. And, you know, when they have things like this written, I would rather do the black all behind it and then do the white last because then it'll be 
kind of embossed because you're stitching in between the black. Does that make sense? I don't know if you ever thought of it that way, but that way the symbol or the character or whatever this says, because if you know what that says, comment below. Uh, go ahead, because I got nothing. Here it is even closer, so I don't know what it says, but some of you might. But I don't see a name of a company. This is a very nice uh, printed pattern. It's very easy to see, but it doesn't match the canvas. And since this is an 11 count, it's very, it's big enough, you know, for you to see all the symbols. You know, just start in black and work until, you, you know, you can't see straight. But, yeah, I think I'd start up here with this. This lotus blossom up here and work my way that away. Because, yeah, I don't know. But, yeah, the black is definitely going to make this picture. You cannot do without it. It just, it just sets everything off just beautifully. All right, well, that is all I got from DIY Digital Art. They do have cross-stitch. They have diamond painting. They have a separate Joy Sunday section. They have beaded cross stitch. They have tools for and crafts for diamond painting and cross stitch. Uh, they do have some latch hook things and tapestries. And they also have gauze embroidery as well as the regular, um, say, a muslin cloth. I'm not sure that that's exactly the word for what kind of cloth that is, but you can tell the difference. And they also have paint by number, wax seal stamps, die cuts, and jigsaw puzzles. And they also have a, a special section called Other. And if you go there, they have home and garden things, lighting tools, and all kinds of home improvement type things, if you will. Not in improve. Well, yeah, I guess it would be improvement. You know, like lawn furniture and that kind of thing, but they also sell some tools and stuff. So it's like a whole another side of this, and then they have the craft side. So you can check out the whole thing while you were there. If you, um, I want to thank DIY Digital Arts for sending me these Beautiful, beautiful kits. I just love this lotus thing. It's beautiful, but it's going to take a hot moment to get all that black in there. Yeah, I'm fighting. See, I'm still in, like, denial, so we're getting there. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.